Welcome to today's lecture on rumination disorder. Today we will explore this unique eating disorder, its causes, and the impact it has on individuals, particularly children. Rumination disorder typically occurs in children. It involves the repeated regurgitation of food, which may be rechewed, re-swallowed, or spit out. This process is not due to any associated gastrointestinal or medical condition. For diagnosis, the behaviour must persist for at least one month and not be related to conditions like gastroesophageal reflux. It also must not occur exclusively during the course of other eating disorders. The causes of rumination disorder are often rooted in psychosocial factors. A lack of stimulation or a neglectful environment can contribute to its development. Stressful life situations and problematic parent-child relationships are also significant factors. Often face challenges. It can lead to malnutrition, social withdrawal and emotional distress. Understanding their needs rather than imposing what we believe they need is crucial. Treatment typically involves behavioural strategies to change the pattern of eating. Psychological counselling and family therapy can also be beneficial, especially to address underlying issues. 1. Anna, a six-year-old, began showing symptoms after the birth of her younger brother, highlighting familial changes as a trigger. 2. John, an eight-year-old, developed the disorder following a stressful move to a new city, showing how environmental stress can be a factor. 3. Sarah, a seven-year-old, was noticed by her teachers to regurgitate food during lunch, which was later addressed with school support and parental guidance. Today, we've learned about rumination disorder, a challenging but manageable condition. As future psychologists, your role in understanding and supporting affected individuals is vital. Let's continue to learn and grow in our knowledge together. Thank you for watching. For more information, stay tuned and subscribe.